So, let me ask you. What does Black Lives Matter to you? Because I can do that. Well, we see how that one is. So, <laughs> tell me, what does this march mean? Is there some? Is there another march in plan 50 years later from now? Uh, where do we go from here? Legislation. Let's list service. All legislation. Is Trump putting in certain policies for our benefit? You tell me. He delivered historic funding to HBCUs, and he guaranteed it for 10 years. Outside of veterans, um, no. With record low unemployment for African Americans. And re no. Hey guys, just a couple of questions. Just want to ask you the meaning of this march, uh, especially Caucasians. Uh, what does Black Lives Matter to you? I mean, I think Black Lives Matter is, is a, a movement that is started by powerful black women. matters to me is that we can't have all lives matter until black lives matter. And, and one other question. As far as Trump, yeah. are we against him because everyone else is against him or no. are we against him because of the certain policies he's put in the plan? I mean, I think I can only speak for myself, right? So personally, I'm against his policies. I'm against he delivered historic criminal justice reform. Rhetoric. He ended once and for all the policy of inc incarceration uh, of black people. And that's why I won't be voting for him in November, right? So. Kill everybody. Will we have another march 50 years from now about the same thing? I hope not, but I don't, I don't know how optimistic that is. Uh, Kill everybody. I truly hope not, but... How will this end? How will this end? Yeah. I think the only answer, we've been waiting for reform for 60 plus years. I don't think reform is possible after that amount of time. I think the only answer is to tear it down and build it back up from the beginning. We've got yeah. examples of that. That's right. Yeah. Tear it down. got to tear it down. Everybody, like it's never going to stop. This is cultural, yes. culturally embedded, generation after generation after generation. You can't take the same indoctrinational process into the next generation. And the only benefit that we have right now is that these children are simply not going to tolerate. That's our only saving grace because we've given them nothing. How old are y'all? Right, so 50 years from now, do you think we will be marching for the same thing 50 years not. from now? We're what? out here, but the goal's not to. So what I can don't we? think so. Uh-huh, oh. Because I think this year has really been like, so much yeah. has happened, so change. much loss, like, you know? So I think that we never, all these deaths have been happening before, but it's never been like, protests like Nate. You see like all across the entire world. What advice would you give to a young person like yourself stopped by a police officers? I would say listen to what they say. It's sad but this is the world we live in. You really have to watch your every move. You have to watch your every step. It's not worth your life so just listen to what they say. Be very careful. Yeah. Try and get on your way. My Nana always tells like all my older cousins and stuff. She would like ask them before you do everything, be like, can I reach for my license? Can I reach for this? Can I reach for that? Just because, you know, they look for any reason to do, shoot you or do anything. Please that happens to Excuse me. So, quick question. Now, for real. Would you ever date a black guy? Yeah. Really? Have you ever dated a black guy? I haven't dated anyone. I haven't dated anyone. Oh, <laughs> uh, if. Alright, so, would you date a black guy? Yeah. Yeah. What about you in the back? Yes. Lies. Lies matter. Man, y'all from around here? 
Going yeah, to raise yeah, they going to raise the ground. Will we be having another march? Will they be going through the same thing? What are some things to stop this from happening? Um, if we don't, if we're just kind of covered up with like cosmetic pictures and Money and putting it back into the community, yes, we will have to come back to the shit because we can't keep fake fixing it. We can't. In the future, one must address true equity. And that's what I think. What, what advice could we give our youth when stopped by a police officer? Yeah. Is that the question? Yeah. Oh, when they get stopped by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we get stopped okay, by. Okay, we'll get off by educating ourselves on our rights and our civic responsibilities. It's a thing. Racism, racism, I like think it's going to ideally end. But it's the only way to get in humanity. You can't stop people from thinking of what they're going to be. It is what it is. What? My name is Mr. Stanford, rapper, name. Chuck Babble, Chuck Babble, Chuck Babble. I want to know racism, but 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 racism,